Well, guess what, gang? <laughs> the fix a flat tire is now leaking again. I was on my way to the doctor and I pulled into Rod Aid and I heard it spewing and got right back in before it's flat and drove right back to the the used tire place. Joe's tire. Joe's tires auto repair and sales. So they're gonna see if they can repair it. He says it's in the tread, so he thinks he can probably just repair it. That will be awesome, since I can't afford new tires right now. But anyway, here we are again at a mechanic shop. <laughs> just when I think everything's fixed. And look, I get out, my brake lights are on. So I'll go in here and pump my brake. And voila, break my top. Okay, well, anyway, I can't hold this one hand, so later, Gator. Well, here we are again, gang. Flat number one, two, three, four. Flat number four in like a month and a half. This is ridiculous. So, I had a flat the other day in, when I was in Blythe on Monday, and today is Thursday. And that flat was going flat, but I noticed it before it was totally flat. So, I'm in Quartzite at the tire shop again, and see there, the beast is up on the jack again. And he's checking it out, so. This is the van life. You know, whether you live in a van or a house, something is always needing fixed. So, this is my house, and I'm fixing my house. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, this is the way we roll. Yay! Tonight is a uh, potluck karaoke night out at the Long Term Visitor Center, La Posa North, where I've been staying this week. And I plan to go to that. I've got a box full of tomatoes I'm just going to slice up. Well, I say I, um, Brenda and I. And Brenda will probably do the slicing because, you know, this thing I can't do too much slicing. It is what it is, right? Yeah. Anyway, I also got a, a possible opportunity in Bandera, Texas. So I might be heading that way. I'm not positive yet, but we shall see. Right. We shall see. So, anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye, babies! <laughs> So this is Beth. This is my Dodge and this is all part of my adventure. I had a really big, long run of bad luck. Sorry. Um, woke up this morning with another flat. Um, I've got a spare here that a uh, real deal in Texas sold me that the rim doesn't fit. And um, the, the tire's good, but it's smaller than the other three, so I can't put this tire on there. Um, I had this one patched last Monday, and apparently something's wrong. I went yesterday, and it was going flat, so I went yesterday to a different place in this town where I'm at. Um, okay, gang, here's the deal. I'm Beth, this is my Dodge, and this is my adventure. <laughs> um, for the last month, it's been one thing after another. I got to Quartzsite and used up all of my emergency fund, which you have to have if you're going to be out RV, because things happen. So I used up all my emergency fund doing repairs. Uh, overheating, stuck in two different towns, paid two different mechanics. Uh, my ignition module, thankfully I was at a friend's house in Texas, and got that part and he put it in and he charged me everything. Thank goodness. But um, two nights in a hotel with an ice storm in Midland. Um, what else? 
Oh, that was New Year's Eve. That ice storm that lived on New Year's Eve. And then two days in an RV park in Valmore, in a snowstorm. Then the ignition module. Then the overheating. Kid, I stopped and paid a kid to put in a thermostat, and apparently he put it in upside down. I didn't know it was a stick. And then, so I kept overheating. Then I paid another mechanic in the next town to change the hoses and, and look for something. He put the pressure test thingy on it and couldn't find any leaks, so he couldn't figure out what was wrong. And um, anyway, got, got here to Quartzsite, had two flats the first week I was here. Got both those tires patched because I'm out of money. Got here on the 10th. On the 11th, I got a job. On the 12th, I started working. Then on, that was January. On February 3rd, I fell and broke my arm. On February 4th, the work told me that I couldn't work on my arms and a sling, so I got laid off the job. So I pick up my last paycheck today, and I wake up this morning, and I have another flat. It just keeps happening. I don't know what it is. I pissed somebody in the universe off. So anyway, I need some help. So I know some of my friends have already helped me once I get, uh, got laid off. And I really appreciate it. I do. Um, but I guess I need two new tires or new used tires or something. At least two. Um, my brake pads are grinding, so I was going to get brake pads today and try to find somebody to help me put them on. Um, my last paycheck is today, and that's um, about 16 hours at minimum wage, so I'll be lucky if that's $100. So that'll be enough to, to buy the brake pads and to hopefully give somebody 20 or 30 bucks to put them on for me. And find somebody. I'm sure I can find somebody. Anyway, I need help. So if you're able, I'd appreciate it. This is, I just don't know which way to turn now. So I'm turning to you. If you have an idea, that'd be great. I've got an opportunity, maybe in Texas, to go work pretty much immediately. It's not in stone yet. I'm still talking to the people. So, and then I've got that uh, national park in Washington this summer, starting June 1st. So I've got jobs. I want to work. I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, lay around the desert and do jobs with people. Just everything is happening at once. And it's hard to deal with sometimes. So, I'm a happy camper, believe it or not. <laughs> I just need some help. Um, I got this spare that I'm sitting on at a place in Mineral Wells, and they dug around for an hour looking for a ram that would fit the van. And I guess he just gave up and he put this ram on and showed me. He's, he said, Look, the bolts, you know, it fits. So I said, okay, so I bought it, and they put a tire on it, and 50 bucks. And so I got it in the van. I go down the road. I get to Las Cruces, New Mexico on my way here, and I, I noticed that the, the spare tire is flat, so I take it over to Big O Tires, I think it was, just to have the spare tire done. And there's a big old slice in the sidewall of that tire. So they sold me another tire. For 30 bucks. It's smaller than my other four that are on there, but it would be good enough for a spare. So I got a good tire on that. And then I get to the desert the first week here and I have that first flat and we put it, we go to put the spare on. And somebody helps me do that. And while the lug nuts line up, the thing in the center, it won't go over. So no matter how you tighten up the lug nuts, the tire is still going to wobble if you drive. So it doesn't fit. So I got caught. Crazy, aren't they? I refuse to believe everybody's crazy. Yet. I keep going down to doing crazy things. <laughs> so, anyway, I thank all of you that have helped me so far. And, you know, I thank you for watching. And so, I have to post a sad video. <laughs> Crying. Because that's all I do anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So, if you can help, great. If you can't, that's okay too. Say a prayer. It all helps, right? So my PayPal's down below. 
and um, thanks, thanks for watching. Ciao, babies.